to Joe Rogan sometimes. If you're going to have any type of wildlife expert on, I'm probably going to listen because I like animals. So she she had this or he had this wolf expert on and they were talking about how there was a ceasefire during World War II and it was due. They had to have a ceasefire because all these wolves kept coming down and like, you know, dragging off like the dead bodies of soldiers and also injured soldiers. So they had to have a ceasefire. And the expert was like, no, I don't. I, she's like, I, I have a problem buying that. That doesn't even make sense. I mean, besides the fact all the guns and the fighting, that usually doesn't bring in the wolves. But anyways, he was like, are you sure? Because it's in the New York Times. It's in, you know, the Washington Post that there was this big ceasefire and it was because of packs of wolves. And she's like, no, I don't buy it. And I'm like, no, it's definitely not true. They had to have a ceasefire because the, all the soldiers were tweaked out on meth. Yeah, not just the Nazis. I mean, the Nazis created methamphetamines. We know that. They were all on it. All that you had to, that was how they were able to basically take over France, go into parts of uh, England at the time. They're all on meth. So normal people have to sleep. Well, not the Nazis. They just kept going. Okay. But, you know, once the our allied forces, like the UK, discovered that the Nazis were on these like manufactured speed pills and they they were taking millions a week. Yeah, it's all unsealed now. It's all unsealed now. So we know what was going on. Millions a week, okay? So the British, you guys are going to love this. The British created their own cocktail of methamphetamines. And it was, it was some like, type of amphetamine with benzos which is like, what, a Valume or a Xanax or something. I don't know. I don't get into that stuff. I have really I have really low blood pressure, okay? I'm barely alive. I'm like 90 over 60. So like that, a benzo would kill me, all right? I can't do anything that's going to bring me down, okay? I'm barely alive as it is, all right? But they, they made their own, and they were called Bennies. Yes, Bennies. And stay with me here, folks. They, of course, when they developed this cocktail, they had to test it out. And they decided to test it out on, guess what? Fighter pilots, fighter jets. So they gave all these jet fighters bennies, and then they documented, like, what they did. Okay? They documented what they did. And I guess, you know, they, they were better fighters. They took, you know, more risk. You know, all the stuff that you're going to do on amphetamines. But they were also on, they, they gave it to their armies, and then the France got some. So basically, everyone fighting during World War II were tweaked out on meth. So that, well, one, that's how they got, that's where Elton John got the song Benny and the Jets, I'm assuming. I, I haven't looked into it, but I'm not stupid, okay? Benny and the Jets, the drugs was called Benny, and they tested it out on the jet fighter pilots and they're like yes this is a wonder drug okay but that's why they had to have the ceasefire it wasn't because of wolves so anyways joe i think you need to watch your back i do i think the feds i think they might be you think mike baker is like your friend and he's not in the cia anymore they could totally be using you as a patsy i mean i'm telling you 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 struck the ball sack of the far right you, yes, you do, but you do it for money. And if I was in your position, I would do it too because I'm broke and I like money. So I'm just saying, you know, I would be careful. I would be careful because you know what? You're not, you, you can't, martial arts, kickboxing isn't going to help you in prison. Do you know how to prison fight? I mean, you might be, you might be sucking off some Nazi dick when you're in there. You might, you just might end up sucking dick at San Quentin. 